Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. I've been so busy with work and things, but I'm finally back and I have a sort of strange video today. It is a sponsored one, so I've got a sponsored product from YesStyle, which you probably see in the title of the video. Sorry my hair is a right mess, but we'll get to it. So I'm going to do something like a, a review of the product and then a comparison to some other products. So since about September last year, I have had a problem with my lips. I've had, I think it's due to mask wearing, but since we've been wearing masks quite a bit more heavily and more often, especially at my work, because I work in aged care, so we have to constantly wear masks so we don't have, so we don't spread COVID, obviously, to the elderly and amongst each other. So, um... My mouth has always been very sensitive since I was young and suddenly I just had like um, a sort of eczema pop up on my mouth so they're okay today, my lips. Um, they've taken a long time to get back to normal but back in September they were all dry and scaly and red and cracked and they just looked really horrible so I'm so happy with where they are now. They still have a little ways to go. But hopefully this product today will help us. So today we have the lovely Honey Lip Balm. This is from I'm From, I think. Yeah, it's from I'm From. So I'm From is a Korean brand. You can buy them from Yes Style, which is where I got this from. Um, I've got a promo code, which is MOMO2129, I think. Um, it'll be on the video screen right here if you want a discount, so do check it out. Um, this is the little box. I've reviewed their products before. I've done their pear serum, and I've got some other products in their um, the green Insta kit, and I really quite like them. They're all natural and organic, and yeah, they're really cool. So it says, I'm from Honey Lip Balm, which contains natural honey of the Mount Jitty, Recovers dry lips with deep moisturization, moist, moisturizing <laughs> and nutrition. Use it as a lip mask to give your dry lips a rest before bed. Um, directions apply to lips throughout the day as needed, so you can kind of wear them anytime, but good if you want them at night. Um, I do have some lip masks here to um, compare. It's dermatologist tested, so... Oh, here if it focuses and it's from Jiri Mountain in Korea which is on this map here um, I'll list their price up on screen now for this if you want to buy it yourself and I'll list the listing for the yes style page down below as well as where I get these other products too so yeah, I think it'll be nice to try something, and I know that honey is really, really good for your lips. Um, obviously, you can use normal honey stuff if you want to, but um, I don't have time for that. So, it's quite cute. Oh, you can't even see. It says, I'm from, oh, there we go. I'm from on the top. It's in a sleek packaging. I have a tattoo here, if you're wondering. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks nice. Looks just like a normal balm. Doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why I thought it would smell like something. So it's quite thick. Just like a normal balm. So I'm gonna test it out. I have nothing on my lips. I have just have foundation and some eye glitter on today. Um, my lighting doesn't show it very well, sadly. So it's quite... It doesn't pick up well on your finger. It's quite light. And it's not st sticky. So some balms will make your lips like really sticky and gross. Um, this one doesn't. It makes it like nice and slippery but not too slippery. So it feels like you have some product there, but it's nothing too crazy. And you can feel the honey 
kind of sensation. Feels quite light. But you need to put quite a bit on. So my problem areas are here. That's where I get more um, scaling. <laughs> and then up the top lip. And if you massage it in, your lips absorb it better. So I also get allergies and irritations to some lip products, so I'm hoping this does not do that. Um, I used to use purple ointment, Lucas purple ointment all the time, and then one night I put it on before bed, I woke up and my lips were swollen, um, so I cannot use that. Apparently it has a special irritant in it, which some people are allergic to. Um, so I found out the hard way, and I woke up and I had like Kylie Jenner lips, so not fun. So far this feels really moisturizing, really hydrating. It's not really thick and clumpy, so it'll be a good balm throughout the day. I don't think it has any SPF in it. I'm not too sure. If it does, oh, it's got dimethicone in it, so that's quite good. So it has dimethicone in it, which is quite common in a lot of cosmetics. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice, hydrating, moisturizing. You can kind of feel a honey texture, but not all sticky like honey is. So I think it's really good. Um, something I use throughout the day normally is this little Vaseline. Um, it's like a travel thing, so I take it on the go. And I'll show you the consistency. It's quite thick though. So it looks similar, but it's really, really thick. I mean, you know what Vaseline is like. Um, you can also use Vaseline on your hair. Did you know? Fun fact. Um, this I buy for like four or five dollars. Um, I can't remember how much this is. But I don't think it was too much anyway. I mean, I got it for free, but I don't think it was very much. And normally at home, I use the big top. Of Vaseline so I put it on usually a few times and it lasts so long so I usually put it like um, before bed when I wake up and then if I wash my face and I'll put it on just because it doesn't irritate and it leaves it really hydrating some products I've also used are the Laneige lip mask so I put this on last night actually. It smells really good. It tastes really good. This is the normal one, which is a berry flavor. And look, I've used so much. I've had this for a little while, but it's really, really good. So you put it on before bed. It smells like candy. And then you wake up and your lips are nice and fresh. But it does kind of exfoliate dead skin. So if you don't want your skin exfoliated then I'd say don't do this all the time. I actually used to use this every day and I was wondering why my lips kept peeling. So I stopped it for a while and just went to the Vaseline and that kind of helped it clear up. So don't use these like all day every day if you've got sensitive skin. Um, they're not too good. And I also have the little one in ginger ginger snap so this came out for Christmas and it smells it smells like gingerbread it's really really good it also came with a peppermint one which I gave to a friend so hopefully they're enjoying this too and it just works the same way but this gives a little bit of a brown tint to your lips so just be careful with this one um, especially if you wear it under masks it will come out onto masks and then looks like your mask has gross stuff on it so yeah, just be careful with this. You also get a little applicator for them. So, um, this is the Laneige applicator. And it's a little silicone one. So you just dip it in, put it on, and then wash it. Give it a good clean. Otherwise, that's, you know, unsanitary. Whereas the rest, you kind of have to use your fingers. You don't get an applicator. So with the uh, I'm From one, you just have to use your fingers. Um, but it's fine if you like wash your hands and sanitize and stuff, then you're all good. I also have the Morphe one. Um, this is the Morphe Lullaby Lip Mask. So you can use this throughout the day. Um, it's more of a lip mask, but you can use it throughout the day as well. And it comes like in this little tube. Super cute. 
And this one says, apply a generous amount to clean, dry lips in the evening and leave on overnight. Because this is really, 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 really thick. <laughs> so I have worn it throughout the day just because it kind of gives, um, it keeps them moist. Um, but this has squalene in it. So this is a squalene based one. And it's really fruity. Um, to me it feels quite light and fresh, but it also kind of makes my lips tingle, so I kind of wonder if there's allergens in it for my mouth. So I try not use this too much. So this is um, squalene based, and these are... I can't remember what base they have in them. Because generally lip products will have one sort of base, like this is petroleum based. I think they're lanolin, I can't remember. But most lip products will be petroleum, squalene, or lanolin based. Um, these have a lot of natural ingredients in them too, so they're really, really good and I love them so much. You'll hear good things about these. They come in so many different flavors. Um, the Morphe one just has the one flavor. I think there's another one that's plain. I can't remember, but this just has the strawberry. And then I think I'm From also has a couple other flavors in their range, but this was their newest one. And this was the one that was going for um, promotional. So yeah, overall I really like the texture. I might use this throughout the day at work instead of my Vaseline one just because this gets really thick and it transfers to my mask quite easily. So um, I can feel this wouldn't transfer as much, however it might come off easier. Um, but I can still feel the tackiness. And it's still on there, it hasn't come off, it hasn't absorbed into the lips like fully. So I reckon it would keep it moisturized for a while. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's really good. It lasts 12 months from opening, so you can have it for a year. I mean, most lip products last about 12 months after you open them, including lipsticks. You can keep them a bit longer if you don't use them too much, if you keep them clean, um, all that stuff. So yeah, overall I think it's a really good product, and compared to all the other ones I've shown you, um, it holds up pretty well. Um, ranking, I would still put good old Vaseline number one, um, and then probably this number two, actually, and I'll put the Laneige number three. Um, both of these are the same, pretty much, but this, I think, would have a little bit more irritants in it if there's any, like, um, ginger snap cinnamon stuff in it. Um, this one, definitely a solid number three. And then lastly, this one, um, just because it would work for some people but not others, and for me I can just feel the tingling on it still, so yeah, this video has been sort of a mission in progress, I wanted to film it um, a week or two ago, but I wanted to tr make sure every I tried out everything and my lips had healed back to normal almost before I tried this product since I actually got it a couple weeks ago in the mail. So yeah, hopefully you all are happy with my reaction and let me know which one you prefer or if there's even others that you prefer. I know there's so many others like Lano Lips and I think, I don't, I don't know too many Asian um, beauty care ones, so I'm really happy to try I'm From. Um, if you know any more Asian beauty ones, then please tell me, I'll be keen to try them. I might even try them out on my channel, so let me know. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I've got coming up, I'm planning to do like a sun care wear and tear, wear and tear? <laughs> a sun care wear and test day or something, since I've got a whole lot of sun care products I've got from Yes Style and some Korean beauty stores. Um, we have a lot of Korean beauty stores in New Zealand and Auckland, so I buy a lot of my products from them. So I can definitely try them out, and I thought I would do some K-pop makeup looks. 
Um, hopefully once I fix my lighting, because you can't really see my colors and stuff. Like, I've got a really beautiful brown on today, you can hardly see it with my lighting. So, I might just have to play around with, like, the rooms in my house and see what works well. I know my bathroom's quite good, but I don't want to film a whole video in my bathroom. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my socials listed down below. Don't forget code MOMO2129 if you want 20% off for a new customer. I think it's 20% or is it 10%? Either way, it saves you money and you just put it in the rewards code section when you go to check out and then it will automatically take off the money. And if you're a returning customer, I think it's 5% percent you get off so you still get a saving um, not as much but it's still really good and I'm obsessed with so much stuff from your stall and I'm not saying that just because this is sponsored um, I buy so much from them like constantly I, I buy clothes I buy um, all sorts of things beauty products makeup products um, I bought wigs from them they have wigs so they have so much cool stuff um, if you're interested in seeing stuff other stuff I've used from them, then let me know. But yeah, in the meantime, the Honey Lip Balm is Momo approved. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you next time. Jane, bye bye.